Different results for orbital period I am making a hypothetical solar system with random masses and distances but still physically and mathematically accurate. I want to calculate the trajectory of a spacecraft, and to do that, I need to know the orbital period. I want to know what the orbital period for half the elliptical orbit is. From perigee to apogee, according to Kepler's third law, dollar dollar t equals two pi sqrt a cubed over mu dollar dollar where dollar t dollar equals the orbital period. Dollar a dollar is the semi-major axis and dollar mu dollar is the sun's gm. In this imaginary solar system case, dollar mu equals dollar two dollars and forty cents times ten carat twenty dollar and dollar equals dollar two dollars times ten carat eleven dollar meters. This gives a period of 36,275,987.3 seconds. Which gives an orbital period of 18,137,993 seconds for half the orbit. However, according to this physics stack exchange answer on how to find the transit time for a specific portion of an orbit, gives the formula dollar dollar tau equals frac t two pi big e underscore one e underscore two e sin e underscore one sin e underscore two big dollar dollar where dollar tau dollar is the transit time dollar e dollar eccentricity zero point four four. Finally, dollar e underscore one dollar and dollar e underscore two dollars is the eccentric anomaly of two points. Since I want to find the portion from perigee to apogee, my eccentric anomaly is zero and one hundred and eighty degrees respectively. I confirmed these two angles with this formula from this source: dollar dollar cos e equals frac cos v plus e one plus e cos v dollar dollar where dollar v dollar equals true anomaly and dollar e dollar equals eccentricity. In this case, dollar e equals forty four cents. True anomaly is 0 degrees at perigee, and 180 degrees at apogee. Here is the equation when substituting the values value of dollar e dollar doesn't really matter because dollar sin 0 carat o dollar and dollar sin 180 carat o dollar equals 0 dollar dollar tau equals frac 36,275,987.3 2 pi big 0 carat o 180 carat o 0 0.44 sin 0 carat o sin 180 carat o big dollar Dollar this formula gives the result minus one thousand and thirty nine dollars two hundred and thirty thousand eight hundred and forty nine dollars seconds. I guess a little mini side question: Why and should it be negative? Question: Why am I getting two different results for the same portion of the orbit, perigee to apogee? Using the first formula, I got eighteen dollars one hundred and seventy three thousand nine hundred and ninety three dollars seconds, about six months. But for the second equation, I got one thousand and thirty nine dollars two hundred and thirty thousand eight hundred and forty nine dollars seconds, about thirty three years. Judging by the results, the former seems correct to me. Six months. What am I doing wrong with the second equation? A few things come to mind. Where you put in the radius eight dollars and seventy six cents times ten carat ten dollar, I think you meant the eccentricity, which for Earth's orbit is about zero dollars point zero one six seven dollars. Putting in a distance parameter there makes the equation dimensionally inconsistent. Do not forget to convert your angles to radians. To deal with the sine, measure the angle from the initial perigee perihelion, and do not reset to zero with each subsequent perigee perihelion. You do not reset because the angle is actually the total amount of angle traversed from the initial perihelion, including two dollars pi dollar radians for each completed revolution since. For the second half of the first orbit from zero, it runs from dollar pi dollar to two dollars pi dollar. Then it should work. 